hey NASA, we might have a problem. Can we get a call out? Because Curiosity, your Mars rover, just got a seriously flat tire. And no, I'm not talking about your average nail in the road here. This is a full on massive hole in its wheel. How did this even happen? What on Mars could even cause such damage? And does this mean the end of the Curiosity mission? Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou. And before you panic, let's find out exactly what happened and what it means for the future of this mission. But before I start, I'm super excited to announce that in this video, I've partnered with Exta and they were kind enough to send me this super sleek wallet and also a tracker to try out. And let me tell you, I am already obsessed with them. I love them. This wallet is just perfect. It's super slim, it's light, and it doesn't feel bulky in my pocket. It's got RFID protection to protect my cards from cosmic rays. Well, okay, that's not quite true, but it will safeguard your contactless cards from unauthorized scans and fraud. And check this out. With a single click, I can access all of my cards instantly. No more rummaging through the black holes of my pockets trying to find the right card. But the real game changer is this little guy. With this ultra slim rechargeable tracking device, with a six month battery life, I will never lose my wallet again. If you're keen on trying out Exeter for yourself, they have a sale on right now. So head over to their website at partner.exeter.com forward slash spacemark and be sure to use my code spacemark to get an additional discount on top of any web sales. Okay, so now back to the video. Every now and then, NASA's Curiosity rover, which is currently roaming around Mars in the Giddes Valles, which is a channel that was likely carved by ancient powerful flows of water and debris, will do what it calls a full Marley wheel imaging. This is where it will do a short drive, take some photos of its wheel with its Marley camera, which is mounted on the end of its robotic arm. And then it will repeat this over and over again until it collects all the images of the entire wheel. This takes about three hours and seven meters of driving just to complete so that NASA can assess the state and health of the wheels. Curiosity has six wheels in total. And over time, these wheels have become progressively worse. Holes, tears, breaks and dents. Basically, it was getting particularly bad after two years which is pretty good because initially it was only planned for a two year mission. But time flies by so quickly and it's already surpassing 13 years now. I guess it doesn't help that when it landed, it landed in Mount Sharp. And this is where all the rocks are, no surprise, very sharp. In 2017, two of the raised treads called Grousers on the middle left wheel of NASA's Curiosity Mars rover are broke. And you can see that in this picture. It's partially detached at the top of the wheel. And now it seems that Curiosity has acquired yet another massive hole. So for reference, each of these wheels are about 50 centimeters in diameter. So they're quite a bit bigger than your average car tire and they're 40 centimeters wide. So that is a really big hole. Ouch, poor Curiosity, those Martian rocks sure are sharp. Unlike on Earth, Mars doesn't have surface water, so there's no water erosion to make those smooth pebbles that we get here on Earth. Instead, erosion on Mars happens via wind and dust. Even though Martian soil is probably not physically abrasive, like the lunar regolith that eroded away the soles on our first astronauts on the moon, Martian winds will carry fine dust and sand particles, and these will act like sandpaper grinding away at rocks over long periods of time. This process known as abrasion will create sharp edges and points on the rocks. These wind sculpted rocks are also known as ventifacts. But in addition to this, the large temperature variations on Mars, ranging from minus 153 degrees Celsius to a comfortable 20 degrees, can cause rocks to expand and contract, leading to cracking and fracturing. This will create sharp edges and fragments. So to combat this, the wheels on Martian rovers, as well as on lunar rovers, need to be very carefully made. 
Curiosity's wheels are made up of aluminium, just like most Martian rovers are. Perseverance, spirit, opportunity. This is because aluminium is a lightweight material, yet very strong. It's good for the rocky terrain of Mars and can withstand its temperature swings. The wheels are important for the rover's ability to explore the terrain, so you don't want them getting brittle and cracking from the extreme cold. Aluminium is also more easy to machine, to shape into complex forms. Notice the thick wheels come with these cleats in a chevron-like pattern. This helps it handle the uneven terrain, slopes and sand dunes, allowing it to climb at inclinations of up to 12 degrees. On the contrary, lunar rovers like U2 and the Apollo 15 rover wheels tend to be more like wire mesh materials, and this is to prevent them sinking into the lunar regolith. There's less sharp rocks here, but there's a lot of dust. You may also have noticed that Curiosity has these very uniform holes. Now, these holes are not from rock damage. They were human made. They were put there on purpose as part of the tread pattern. The idea is that these holes will leave an impression on the Martian surface, spelling out JPL in Morse code. JPL is NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and they're the ones who manufactured the rover. The new hole is on the right middle wheel, and unfortunately it's unrepairable. We don't have astronauts on Mars yet to go and change their wheels. But even though the damage seems to be massive, don't worry, it's not the end of Curiosity. It's just that it will now be more important than ever to keep Curiosity out of the paths of big sharp rocks to prolong their lifespan. But this doesn't mean it's easy either, because remember, Mars has an information delay of about 6 to 20 minutes each way. This means that to send a command to the rover from Earth, it would take anywhere between 6 and 20 minutes, depending on where Mars is relative to Earth. And this is due to the limit on the speed of light. Nevertheless, it could be that the NASA engineers will come up with something clever, like they did after the incident back in 2017. At the time, the scientists uploaded new software to Curiosity that would adjust the speed on each wheel to reduce the pressure that they felt. But things like machine learning could also be used to recognize potentially damaging terrain based on images from the rover's cameras. And this would help because Curiosity could then anticipate terrain changes and then adjust its wheel speed and steering appropriately. Or even better, they could get a drone to scout ahead and NASA's Ingenuity helicopter, who was a companion to Perseverance rover, was already a proven success that this technology works on Mars. You can fly helicopters on Mars. Also, everything learned so far from studying the wheels can tell us about the terrain of Mars and even how to design better wheels in the future. Perhaps in the future, we may even see rover wheels made of self-healing materials. Anyway, that's all I have time for this week. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. Also, again, to my sponsors, Exter. All of their links are down below. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe. Hey space cats, fly with me to the stars Faster than light, soaring past Mars